Hi guys, welcome to today's video. It's been a long, long time. I haven't filmed in nearly a month, over a month, just under a month. I haven't filmed in a long, long time. Jake is due to be back in about 15 minutes. It's actually the evening time. Um, I was gonna put some makeup on. I've put a little bit of foundation, like tint on, and I just thought I'd like, th yeah, throw some products on my face and just kind of do a little chatty, get ready with me. I don't really know what for. Get ready with me for the couch. It's been a while. I, as you can hear in the back of my throat, I'm a little bit sick. I've been sick for about a week now. Both Jake and I have been like ping-ponging bloody cold uh, symptoms. All week, possibly the last two weeks actually, Jake was not very well over Christmas and then I was subsequently not very well like the last two weeks, sort of like Christmas Day, Boxing Day and then it kind of got worse and then is now sort of getting better as we head into the new year, or rather the new year. I'm filming this New Year's Eve so this will probably be up, hopefully if I can try and get it up New Year's Day. Fabulous. Uh, but I am all over the place. <laughs> all over the place. I haven't filmed in so, so long. I haven't spoken to a camera in so, so long. Should I zoom you in? Sorry if the lighting is terrible. I've tried to get it like really real life, but I feel like the background's pretty shadowy. So I'm not sure if we're looking too shadowy. I'm not sure if this is like the best I've ever done it or if I'm looking really orange, I'm not sure. So we'll just have to work with it. Um, I kind of do look like a floating head at the moment. So yeah, it's just been absolutely mental. I just haven't like haven't had the time it's probably like the like synopsis the reasoning i haven't had time i've got a little list in front of me of all the things i kind of want to quickly touch on i don't want this to be like too long a video um so first of all let's just like quickly go back to about a month ago when i kind of stopped filming for a bit you probably noticed i did my grinch video and i was gutted because i really wanted that up like earlier than that and usually you know I do like lots of Christmas videos and I have not filmed a whole video for the whole of December at all um which is really quite weird for me like I I usually film like three videos a week uh, if I can a little bit more um but honestly like I have suffered from really bad burnout this year to the point where I'd say it probably has triggered a lot of mental health issues nothing too serious but just feeling a bit anxious and possibly like symptoms of depression I wouldn't say I was depressed but symptoms of depression um kind of like depressive thoughts and things like that nothing like again nothing too serious but you know it can just like bring you down a bit and I yeah I'd say like I am just severely burnt out um and have been for maybe quite a while not real well I did realize but it's like not caught up with me to the point where YouTubers has to just like fall off the bandwagon. Um, at the very end of November, or rather the beginning, oh, hang on, where am I? <laughs> like time wise. To kind of like bring a bit of context, in my mid year PDR at work this year, so about like June, July time, I essentially got told that like <laughs> all of the hard work, by the way, all the makeup that I'm using will be in the description bar down below. All the hard work that I'd been doing has essentially just like not led to nothing in the sense of like the work but just the amount of effort I put in has led to nothing and I was supposed to be getting some progress and I didn't. I kind of got promised promised a few things that never came. It's not like I wanted a grand promotion or anything but I just kind of wanted to get recognised for the work I did and to be honest with you it's almost like you know when you work for the job you want not necessarily the job you've got. I was working for the job I wanted but I was getting paid not for that job and I'll be honest like I was burning out and feeling really underappreciated and just like generally if I'm perfectly honest just like not happy like I was just really not happy I was getting unhappier and unhappier coming home and it kind of bleeding into my home life as well and I know like I've probably been feeling like that for quite a while well mid-year PDR came around and essentially like confirmed to me that nothing was particularly going to change and I just knew I had to get out of like, the sad thing is it wasn't the job, like genuinely. I saw something the other day on Instagram that was like, I can't remember who said it, but you don't change job, you change managers. And I think it's really true. I think it's, it depends very much. I think you surround yourself with the people at work, sometimes depending on the job, more often than you do with loved ones. So it is actually really important to be surrounded by like, good energy and happy times and you know look forward to work with or for people that bring you joy and like genuinely I just was not at that place and I honestly like 
I tried really hard like I really did try really hard I tried to meet halfway you know like I tried a lot of different things and like I said mid-year came around and I realized that I had been working so hard for something that was just never going to happen um since then I have got a new job and um, the people I work for seem really really great I don't really know them that well uh, because I've literally only been in the job for like well three three four weeks I suppose because I had time off for Christmas so like three weeks they seem really great and yeah lovely lovely people to work with uh, I've got to say like the first couple of weeks of me being in that job I was thrown into the deep end I had been given like a piece of work that needed to be sort of delivered or handed in and my camera even focusing I'm not even too sure uh, it had to be handed in kind of the following week and I barely even knew people's names so not gonna lie it was one of those fight or flight moments where I was just like okay I really need to show that I'm really competent I don't want people to think that I'm rubbish um I want people to think that I am willing to sort of like really dedicate myself to this um and yeah I like I tried really hard and I I feel like I did a really good job just before I kind of broke up for Christmas break and uh yeah like it, those two weeks two three weeks with the new job at the end of November beginning of December I'm not gonna lie just like totally sucked everything out of my personal life because I was so transfixed about trying to make a really good impression and trying to do a good job and it's funny because I was having this conversation with Jake about like how much of my life I give up to my job and, I, and like my career is really important to me but I am the sort of person like I said that will really like narrow my vision on something and the problem is is that I don't have like this balance or like, I was gonna say healthy balance but I don't have a balance at all and I'm really trying now with this new job to set a precedent for everyone but more myself to have a really healthy balance I've spoken so many times in this channel about YouTube being the last priority because it has to be because you know like family and friends come before and then of course my job comes before and actually like YouTube is for me more than anyone else I know it sounds really brutal like obviously I want to upload for you guys as well but like this is my hobby this is my escape I need to zoom out I feel like I'm having too deep a chat zoomed in um it's my hobby it's my escape and genuinely like my happy place you make that part of the happy place obviously with your comments your thumbsing up and down sometimes like it just the, the feedback is really nice but being part of even a small community of people that talk about the same youtubers and talk about the same topics and it does make me feel like part of your lives and you feel like part of mine so it does bring me happiness and i wasn't prioritizing that even though it brought me happiness same with my gaming like I love video gaming and I wasn't wasn't nearly prioritizing that and it's kind of like self-help like you wouldn't not prioritize brushing your teeth at the end of the day do you know what I mean like it's one of those things um so I'm really like my if, if I was to have a new year's resolution it would be to have a healthy balance um going forward and to actually prioritize myself a bit more and not go so above and beyond all the time I'm hired to do a certain amount of hours a week I get paid to do a certain job and it's okay to pull out the stops sometimes and to give a little bit more sometimes but when you're continually giving more and more and more sometimes it's like yeah okay but the extra four hours I could have given at work I could have had four hours of going to the gym doing YouTube and gaming and like that would have brought me so much more happiness so I, I think it's just a balance. I need to get a better balance uh, next year. And my manager is, my new manager is just bloody awesome. I love her. She's great. Um, and I think she gets it. Like she is the sort of person, she's like, I'm going to go to the gym, TTYN. I'll be back in, you know, like I'll be back at one. If you'd need me, I'm on my mobile. And I'm like, you go to the gym? Like you care about yourself? Oh my God. Unheard of. <laughs> um, so yeah I I am really excited about working with this new team and hopefully I can set the boundaries for myself as well and do a good job but also do some self-improvement stuff you know <clears throat> I want to go back to the gym I renewed my gym membership uh recently in November as well also can we just talk about how like I want to talk about the cost of living for like this this long right because I'm also going to have to eat my words when I'm like, oh my god, I can't because I hauled so much. Black Friday 
little old Meg, before she got the new job, I was so overwhelmed. I'd applied, I'd interviewed, I was a bit nervous. I was like, what if I don't get it? If I don't get it, it's fine. I still had a job, but I was quite honestly, like miserable, like miserable, like probably more than I'd like to admit, I was miserable. Um, and oh my God, I wanna cry. Am I gonna cry? No, I'm not gonna cry. No, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. Um, <clears throat> I was miserable and I, like Black Friday came and I was like, I want this, I want this, I want this, shopping? I shopped way out of my means. I went into savings that I shouldn't have done. Doing me wrong, I did not spend like my life savings. I didn't like, I overspent by a couple of hundred pounds, right? Which, how do I word this? For me is like affordable, but not affordable. Like I, I instead of saving money that month, I didn't save anything. So I've had, did I make it for myself that I couldn't eat or put the heating on? No, I mean, putting the heating on. <laughs> Could I, did I make life difficult for myself? No, I just, I had to slap myself on the wrist a little bit because I'd been foolish and not very cautious. Like, did not do what my mama raised me to do, you know, and be like very sensible with my cash. But that was November <laughs> um, and it was also Jake's birthday in November and it was also the month where I was trying to get the most of my Christmas shopping done because I knew that like if I had got this job, which I ended up getting in December then it was probably gonna be quite chaotic and I probably wasn't gonna have a lot of time to think about Christmas shopping and stuff like that so I feel like these past six weeks have just been chaotic what else did I write down um new job yes oh the re reorganization of this room so with this new job comes uh, me working from home a lot lot more um I was probably working from home two days a week in my previous job and I'll now be working home like four days a week sometimes five but we like between my manager and I have said like we'll go in once a week so that we can at least see each other face to face we can make it like a really good workshop session um and like try and do a bit more face to face stuff but like make a day out of it so that it's not just like going in for the sake of nothing and maybe we can rope other people into doing the same so yeah on a usual I think I'm going to be working from home four days a week um it might it go down some weeks so it might be that some weeks I have to go in like two or three days depending on the projects I'm working on but I'm okay with that um I quite like for me I think the flexibility is what I prefer more than anything I think it's one of those where like I really do love working from home and sorry I'm so bunged up I really do like working from home uh, I, I find that I actually get more done because I have more focus and I don't distract myself because people distract me uh, because I'm a chatterbox and so I, I'm really looking forward to getting into the routine of that a bit more now that I've like I know people a little bit better as well after I've kind of got my feet under the desk as such um, but yeah so because I'm working from home more I kind of was like right I need to rejig this room. If you saw my beauty room tour, I don't know what I called it. I'll link it up in the eye. I did a tour of what this room looked like at the tidiest of its states. I've completely rejigged the room, sort of. So this piece of furniture has not moved from my, that previous room tour. It is in there, so you'll see it. It's like the one where I keep my books on. Can you see my little books? I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, but this, that piece of furniture hasn't moved and neither has the white drawers that were behind me in my previous setup they haven't moved either but my desk has moved from like this position well to this position that makes no sense it's moved from this position to this position and I find that it's nicer because I can see out the window a little bit more uh, my monitor is kind of not because so I've got a desk here oh, god I'm so out of the loop of filming. My desk is here and I can like look into my monitors without the light being behind because my window is here. I've got more drawer space here. Like everything just is functioning so much better and I wish I made this move so much earlier than I did. But obviously hindsight is a wonderful thing. Um, and yeah, like I'm really enjoying this setup. So hopefully you enjoy this setup. It's not like full of lipsticks. It's more like home and lifestyle-y but I can bring back the lipsticks and stuff. I'm actually enjoying looking at my makeup for once as opposed to having it behind me. And I'm quite enjoying like the natural wood tones, which like I said, this isn't new, it's always been here. It's just something that I've looked at rather than 
had as my background but yeah I don't know if you like this or not my Calathea will probably live die live die live die in every single video it might be a journey uh I've had this plant for four years no three years four years three years I don't know three or four years and it's just looked sort of half dead half alive the entire time like don't even try and tell me how to look after it because it doesn't even know what it needs uh if you've ever had a Calathea you'll know exactly what I mean um and yeah and then we've got like a little radio a candle that's kind of just out of shot this like cute little candle and a mug that is my display mug that says plant lady is the new cat lady because <clears throat> I love plants I'm so congested uh, and my little uh what's this called my little geodes and I did have a little camel up here but I don't know where he's gone so we'll find my wooden camel and put him back but the layout of the room has changed hopefully you like it if you don't then uh if you want to say that you don't like it at least suggest 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 away don't just say you don't like it because that's not a helpful comment kind of reflecting back on what i was saying about black friday i have got so many hauls to share with you guys oh my god if you want to stick around because uh i've got so many hauls that i'm a little bit nervous to film them all myself i feel like i want to get judged for how much stuff i've bought but you know me i don't pay full price for anything i don't pay full price for, apart from food i don't even pay full price for that sometimes but like i don't like to pay full price so when i see things on discounts uh, I get them all. <laughs> um, I haven't done my makeup wish list or beauty wish list, whatever you want to call it, uh, in a while, and I'm kind of half tempted to reset the entire thing and go back to basics, or not basics, but like go back to the scratch, go back to the drawing board, and kind of just say, right, okay, what are like five things I can take off this list that I still want? Why are they still on there? like if they've been on there for that long and I haven't bought it even after the sales do I really want it like is it just on there to appease me if so like it just needs to go so I think I'm gonna yeah redo that or something of the sorts um and kind of refresh myself there's so much content I wanted to film in December and I just honestly had to give myself the boundary and just be like look Megan you've got a new job if I'm honest, I had some, like, as a side note, and I'm sure everyone does, which is why I wasn't going to say it, but, like, I had family stuff happening, a few things that were just, like, not very nice happened, um, a few things between Jake and I, because that's what happens in relationships, you just have some things going on sometimes, and don't exactly uh, motivate you to want to sit here and smile for, like, an hour, pretending life's tickety-boo, um, and then, like, things with friends as well, like, sometimes life just happens, and it's a bit of a strain and a bit of a stress on you, and, like, if I'm perfectly honest, life for the past six weeks, just, like, everything's been happening at once, if I'm perfectly honest, like, everything's been happening at once, I'm like, come on, come at me, I'm not surprised, um, so, yeah, like, a lot's been happening, and I just have not had the headspace, and, not even just the time, like I've not had the headspace, not been in the right mood, I haven't had the facility, I feel like my camera keeps zooming in on this and changing everything, I keep catching it in the viewfinder, so sorry if that is the case. Um, you know, like when I reshuffled this room about, let me just tell you, I dread the day Jake and I move, I, dr I dread it. I got rid of so much stuff, I, oh my god, it, so <laughs> to move three pieces of furniture so I switched three pieces of furniture around in fact four including this desk my uh, gaming computer also sits at this desk as well so there's a lot of things happening in this room it's my filming space my stud like my workspace now where I will be working at my full-time job it's my beauty room it is my getting ready room it's where I keep my wardrobes uh, it's where I video game so this room serves so many purposes I'm very grateful for this room it it really it saves me nine times out of ten uh, but it is also a sanctuary for everything I hoard for everything I hoard and when I say hoard I mean just like I'm just untidy <laughs> and uh, yeah I can't help it I'm a messy little piggy and I just, I just I dump stuff everywhere and don't pack anything away after myself like some sort of child. Trying to move like two Alex 9 drawers full, 
full of product like full of full of every product you can possibly imagine moisturizer she's got it eye creams i've got 15 i feel like ariel i you know gadgets and gizmos and plenty i like I, I want more like that's my problem um i filled up like literal shopper bags full of my stuff to try and in order to like move the furniture and of course that created genuine chaos in this room to the point where I couldn't work in this room very well and I had a job that like needed to take priority because it's like my actual daytime pay the bills job. My camera just died which probably says to me I am talking way too much. Basically the functionality of the room was not working and I literally could just about complete my daytime job that pays the bills let alone YouTube like it just wasn't all gonna happen and you know when you know you just take a step back and you have to say I have to give myself this grace period of just accepting the fact that I cannot do it all. I really don't like to be told that I can't do something. I like to think I can do it all and when things happen that evidently mean I cannot do it all, I feel like I've disappointed myself like oh it's because I've not worked hard enough, uh, it's because I didn't do this or this or this and sometimes in life you just have to step back and go it's okay, you can you can do you can park this you don't have to do it all and for the month of December I was like I can't do YouTube and I didn't really have time for like a you know to put a video up to say what was happening because it was just happening um and that was it you know like that no more to be said really and you know what for once it was nice just to spend Christmas without the commitment of anything else like got all of my Christmas present sort of done before Christmas like way before Christmas um, and was able to just fully relax, watch all the stuff on the planner that I haven't watched. I was able to catch up with like loads of friends in the meantime, like just before Christmas, because I hadn't pinned myself to a YouTube uploading schedule. I was able to just be with people and have time for me and just kind of, yeah, do all those things. So maybe it was a blessing in disguise that I couldn't film in this room maybe that's you know maybe that was <laughs> what that was but essentially like what I want to say is thank you for bearing with me this concealer is like way too light hang on a minute I want to say thank you for just bearing with me thank you to those who reached out to send some really sweet messages honestly like I, I do appreciate it you are bloody adorable you're the cutest things and I really appreciate you for it because it just shows that you care and you know I hope you've had an okay time yourself I'm pretty sure everyone probably feels to a certain degree a little bit the same just like life just being chaotic i hope you've had an okay year i think if there was anything i wanted from 2023 is just a sense of calm a sense of balance um like to not feel too much this and not too much this and not do you know what i mean i just want to feel quite like vanilla i want my year to feel very vanilla and i want to spark a bit of rocky road here and there you know go on holiday have have a nice time but actually have that balance where I am clocking off when I say I want to clock off and I'm going to the gym when I say I want to go to the gym and I'm going to make life easier for myself and meal prep and I'm going to ask for things in my relationship and I'm going to you know lean on Jake when I need him and and be able to be lent on when he needs me you know like I just want a little bit of balance and I think I don't know I think my job was a big part of my life as to why I've probably felt imbalanced but I really hope that I don't have any of that next year um I hope you guys have an, obviously an amazing year I've got the snottiest little nose so we're just gonna have to vibe with the red redness around the nose I don't even care anymore um I yeah I hope you guys have like the best best year this year and maybe you just want to be like me and you just want to have a really vanilla year maybe you just want to have a balanced year I'm not even asking like I feel like if I don't set the bar too high <laughs> this is a really bad thing to say but if I don't set the bar too high I can't be disappointed and if I just ask for a bit of balance and when I say ask I mean ask myself to do these things then I think I'll be okay do you know what I'm using this palette the Club Nebula and it is still one of my bloody favourite palettes of all time. I love it so, so much. I was going to do all of, uh, like, just speaking videos now. I feel like I'm all over the place. I'm so sorry. This is going to be chaotic to watch. I had so many videos on my quote-unquote checklist to do. In the sense of, um, oh my god, I've got glitter all over my face. In the sense of uh, doing the whole, like, my top 20 for the year, my top this, my top that. Do you guys still want to see that sort of thing? Do you still want to see uh, like 
the end of year type of videos are you bothered or should I just like skip straight into uh like the hauls because I'm kind of tempted to just skip straight into hauls kind of not bother with the ranking but if you guys want to see the ranking like sure I don't mind doing that um yeah what do you guys think about that I also am very aware that I need to do my project pan uh I've been doing okay my project pan but haven't picked up for this past month because genuinely I've just been I've been chaos I have been chaos let me know if you want to see end of year style videos if you do then chuck what emoji chuck a food emoji in the comments if you want to see end of year style videos um I will do my project pan regardless of that because I need to sort of set it up I also want to do some inventory videos as well setting up like my beauty inventory how much of what product I have I have also got some more organization to stuff to do around the room so I'll be filming that as well I've got quite a few videos that I need to film mostly it is just hauls um, I'm going to try and scatter them throughout so it's not just like haul 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 just because that might be a touch boring um, and also if you have a preference just whilst we're here whilst we're here and talking if you have a preference on the sort of hauls you like to see some people just like to see me haul it some people like to see me try on the product I might do a bit of both but if you've got a preference then please let me know there's Jake okay sorry I greeted him he came in the door and now he's eating his dinner very late at night. Um, yeah, so if you want to see kind of end style videos, then that's cool. Also, I was going to say, if you want to see like a, a what I got for Christmas as well, I feel like I've kind of missed the boat a little bit, but let me know if you want to see that because I can absolutely still film that. That's not a problem. I actually have a crate. Oh my God, how bougie do I sound? A crate of my presents. <laughs> God, that hurt. Um, to the right of me here. So if you want to see them, like I have it all ready to go if you want to see it. Uh, if you don't, if you're like, miss the train babe, then cool, I'll just pack my stuff away, it's not a problem. Just whilst I pop on a touch of mascara, I just wanted to say also, um, I wanted to upload this video before anything else because I do have two or three videos, is it two or three? Literally it is two or three videos um, on my computer which I need to finish editing. They were filmed a meter away, um, if that. <laughs> I need to upload those after this, just to kind of make sense chronologically, otherwise you're gonna be like, wait, what's going on? Uh, so yeah, just kind of like warn you, I guess. I think I filmed those videos, ooh, late November, literally late November, they wouldn't have been in December, so they are a little bit like old, but the content isn't like time dependent as such. Um, it's one of them I can tell you is a blend bunny haul and try on and full review. Uh, I really did enjoy filming that. I've nearly finished editing it so that can go up after this I'm sure and actually I need to film the swatches. Maybe I'll debut this background with the swatches <laughs> um, but that needs to go up as well and there's like one or two videos I think after that. So I'll do those first um, just kind of to get them up so that it's not wasted time and energy and uh, yeah then I can start filming all the hauls and if you want to see the Christmas sort of like what I got for Christmas then I can do that too and yeah just anything else that comes after it really uh, I've got lots of plans for this year I was going to do I was going to like set myself up so I could make this video the whole these have been my plans the whole time but as kind of discussed it's all kind of like the poo has hit the fan as such and my plans have not gone to plan <laughs> so everything's kind of been knocked back a couple of weeks but that's fine I mean what's the rush I guess it's just a bit annoying more than a thing and thank you guys again I guess for being so patient with me uh, whilst I've not been uploading and not being very consistent I did hit 6,000 subscribers the other day which is just like mad to me I was saying this to my mum and dad and they were like literally we remember when you were like crying when you got a thousand because you didn't ever think like this is just a hobby to me it still is it still was still you know like and yeah it's just mad to me six thousand of you hi <laughs> overall though i'm really looking forward to the new year not just the new year but i'm looking forward to another year a fresh start i'm looking forward to all the things that i have got in the kind of the, the works um, all of my plans that are for myself you know Jake and I are still saving for a house so maybe 2023 is the year that we start looking I'm not sure it depends depends on how cost of living and stuff like that goes let's be honest 
I am I'm not turning my heating on for more than two hours a day. <laughs> Let's just let's get that clear. So we'll see, we'll see. I, I'm very hopeful for 2023. I hope more than anything else, it's just nice and boring. I really hope it's just lovely and boring, and that the exciting times are brought on by moments rather than it having to be exciting all the time. I want it to be lovely and boring, and I want it to just be balanced. So yeah, if there's anything you want from this year, then yeah, share it down below. Tell me what you want from your 2023 as such um but yeah i feel like i'm rambling but videos are to come thank you for this interlude of like not uploading for so long and then to have a random like makeup revolution grinch video i just worked so hard on that video and i was like oh god it's just so out of sync and i was like sod it upload it because i couldn't upload it in the new year because it's the grinch you know like it's just it's just it's been a mess it's been a bit of a mess but thank you for bearing with me um there'll be plenty of videos to come Take care, stay safe, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!